Jude Bellingham, arguably the best center mid in the world at the moment. But what if I were to tell you that his little brother might actually be better than him? This is the insane rise of Jude and Joe Bellingham. Born in Dudley, England on the 29th of June in 2003, Jude was born into a footballing family, with his father Mark being an elite goal scorer in non-league football. Even from a young age, the talent he had was clear as day. Incredible with the ball at his feet and extremely nimble, he joined Birmingham City and began playing for their youth teams. Whether it was the U8s, the U10s, or even the U12s, he was just a level ahead of everyone his age. These impressive performances over the years led him to get called up to the Birmingham U23s at the age of only 15. Entering the game at half an hour, he scored the only goal in the 87th minute, helping the blue and white get three points. By March 2019, he had three goals from 10 appearances. This led him to feature in 442's list of the top 50 most exciting teenagers in English football, leading us to the 1920 season. Bellingham started to join the first team training sessions and was even registered as a player. But what number would he pick? Well, Bellingham's youth coaches told him that he could play anywhere on the field, the 4, the 8, or even the 10. If you add up all these numbers, what do you get? The iconic 22. And so after weeks of training with the first team, on the 6th of August in an EFL Cup game against Portsmouth, Bellingham became Birmingham City's youngest ever first team player at 16 years and 38 days. He played 80 minutes in the 3-0 defeat but was named man of the match by the Birmingham Mill. Speaking after the game, manager Pep Claudet said, Bellingham will go right to the very top. The boy plays like he's 25 years old. His speed, his touches, everything about his game is excellent. I'm just as excited as all of you are about his ceiling. And the saying goes, sometimes you have to be at the right place at the right time. And boy was Jude there. As three weeks later on the 31st of August in a game against Stoke City, Jefferson Montero after half an hour got an unfortunate hamstring injury, forcing him to come off. In steps a 16-year-old Jude Bellingham. As he came onto a struggling Birmingham side, he did the impossible, picking up the ball before taking a touch and striking the ball into a deflection, scoring the winner of the game. <laughs> Leading Birmingham back from 1-0 down to beat Stoke 2-1 and becoming their youngest ever goal scorer, aged just 16 years and 63 days. And because of this, he started the next few games. And two weeks later, he scored the only goal from Matrabi's cutback. Bellingham continued his fine performances in the next couple of weeks, as he was named the EFL Young Player of the Month for November. When Bellingham was asked where he would like to play, he said, I can play anywhere. Wherever the team needs me, I'll be there. Whether that's left back, right back, center back, I don't care. I just want to play. Bringing us to the January transfer window, which due to Bellingham's insane form, it saw him getting linked with multiple teams. And on the last day of the window, it saw Birmingham reportedly turn down 20 million pounds from Man United. But that didn't stop Bellingham, as he continued to be a first team regular, and by the time the season was suspended due to a certain virus, which will not be named. <coughs> He had made 32 league appearances. As the season resumed behind closed doors, Bellingham remained an integral part of the first team, finishing the season with four goals from 44 appearances, helping Birmingham barely avoid relegation. In appreciation of what Jude achieved in such short time for the first team, the club announced that they would retire his number 22 shirt. In their words, to remember one of our own and to inspire others. But the accolades didn't stop there as he won both the Championship Apprentice of the Year and the EFL Young Player of the Season Award, leading us to the 2021 season. At the time, many believed that Bellingham would leave Birmingham, and it was reported that he and his father had visited several major clubs, of which Manchester United and Bundesliga club Borussia Dortmund were the two favorites. But he was more impressed by Dortmund's record of including young players in the first team. As evidenced is by the likes of Jadon Sancho, Bellingham reportedly settled on the club as his destination of choice. For me, I think it's the perfect club right now, at this point in my development. There's not a better club in the world at producing young talent and developing them for the next level and you know, I want to be able to develop here and give back by winning titles. And the fee was understood to be an initial 25 million plus add-ons, making him the most expensive 17 year old in history. And from here, you probably know how it went. Jude made a total of 132 appearances for Borussia Dortmund, scoring 24 and assisting 25 in his stint there. As his stock kept rising throughout the year, 
all the European giants came knocking. Madrid, City, Liverpool all wanted a piece of the pie. But it would be Madrid who would secure the youngster's signature in a move valued at 103 million plus add-ons. So far in his short Madrid career, Bellingham has took La Liga by storm. In his first two games for Real, he has three goals and one assist, and this is only just the beginning. Jude has the potential to become the greatest English midfielder of all time, finally ending the debate of Lampard, Gerrard, or Scholes. But what if I were to tell you that Jude's little brother could be better than him? Introducing Joe Bellingham. An exciting young prospect, unlike his older brother who's much more of a well-rounded midfielder, Job is strictly attacking orientated. So let's look at some stats. These are from both Jude and Job's first season in the championship. Job beats his brother in basically all of the attacking aspects of the game. More goals, more shots, but surprisingly less assists. In terms of midfield of actions, Jude completely blows his little brother off the park. And even defensively speaking, it's not even close. So yeah, Job might not be better than his older brother right now. But just how good is he? Well, Job likes to operate much higher up the field than his brother. With Jude being able to play anywhere from 5 to 6 to 8, Job's best position is an attacking 10, creating opportunities for his strikers. And he doesn't just create chances, but he scores them as well. He reminds me a lot of a young Dele Ali operating right behind the number 9, lashing onto rebounds and creating havoc from his presence. But with that being said, just a couple months ago, he moved from boyhood club Birmingham to Sunderland for £3 million in search for more game time. Speaking with The Athletic, he said, I'm delighted to sign for Sunderland and I can't wait to get started. The opportunity for young players to move here and the progress is clear. So I believe that this is the perfect club for me to continue my development. But life hasn't been too easy for the young star. Since his move, he played three games for the Red and White. The first one being against Ipswich Town. As he started the game, you could tell he was 17. He just seemed a little nervous every time he got the ball, but to be fair to him, it was his first game for Sunderland, as they unfortunately lost the game 2-1. Following that loss, in his second game against Preston, it didn't get much better. He had a couple shots in the game and also got much more involved in the game prior, but in the 23rd minute, he miscontrolled the ball in midfield, which saw Preston go down the other end and grab a goal. Once again, they lost the game two goals to one. But his third game is where we saw the true potential of Joe Bellingham. As the game started, you could just tell there was a lot more emphasis and confidence in his game. Every time he got the ball, he would just put his head down and carry it into the final third. And in the 22nd minute of the game, his hard work had all paid off. Well, there we go. and it's in! And Job gets Bellingham. his first goal! Yeah, good finish. It's well worked as well, isn't it? Straight back into the game. But it didn't stop there. As 30 minutes later, he would get his second of the game. Bellingham. There we go. There we go. Brassie's out with the assist. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments which player you guys want me to cover next. Take care and peace.